Yeah. Next time on the Brew News. <coughs> I don't nah, know. Nah, there's no next time on the Yeah, there's no next time on the news. What the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> wrong with you? Next time, fuck you. Bye. Like, <laughs> what? Heck, I know, right? Next time. Like, wait, hold on. Oh, they're in the vortex. <coughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Geek Brew, home to Geek oh, Brew. It is another episode of Brew News. Yeah, oh, sorry, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't ready. His body wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. His, his body wasn't ready. So we have Johnny on today. I'm around. He's around. He's somewhere. Mm. But yeah, I want him to dime in. So talk up. Don't be a stranger. Anyway, this you should know about this. Anyway, uh, pu- uh, if you guys don't know, Nintendo is pretty much becoming MCN. And, uh, yeah, everyone's up in arms because Nintendo's the only gaming company that is doing this. Instead of just, you know, letting us use their their games to, you know, aver- free advertising, they want to get some money. So, the, the biggest YouTube star has come out with a statement. Pretty much, he says, Nintendo has the right to do this because this is their... This is their games, but he doesn't believe that they should do it. And if and pretty much most he pretty much explained, which everyone knows, people come to YouTube not because of the games. They become they come because of the, the personality they're watching. No one goes to a PewDiePie episode, um, PewDiePie video to say, "Oh, I want to watch uh, Super Mario Brothers." No, they came to see PewDiePie say PewDiePie and all that things. That's true. So, what about you, Johnny? What do you think? Big ups, beauty boy. Thirty-four million. What up? Thirty-four million. Yep. Damn. Plus, fuck. not sure. <sighs> Damn it. Damn. It. Love you, pewds. We will kill you one day. I mean, yes. I will join you one day. They'll kill you. No, I'm not kill. Him. It's jealousy. Don't worry about it. You probably get a lot. But dude, name. he's a he's a smart guy. He he's made it. He made it. All right. Mm. More internet news. Internet, um, was it? The, uh, China is trying to get rid of trolls. Well, not getting rid of trolls. <laughs> Good luck. I identifying trolls. So <laughs> China is trying to pretty much make it that in twenty, maybe by the end of this year, that like everybody that's on the internet mm. cannot be anonymous. So they have to. I don't know how they'll do it, but like maybe the internet provider will like internet make. Police. Yeah, so yeah. you have to have your real name on your uh, internet accounts when you sign up. So I don't know how they'll police this, but pretty much, if you just they're fucking around, being an asshole, or you're saying, "Oh, I hate the government." So it's two things: like it's getting rid of the anatomy, the the being an anonymous, and that might that definitely will hurt. The freedom of speech, even though they don't really have oh, freedom yeah. of speech, but it'll really hurt their uh, what they can say about the government because someone's like, "Oh yeah, I hate the government." Oh, I know where you live and your your address, and yeah. So uh, yeah, just another way for other countries to spy on their citizens. Yeah. So boo, yeah. shame, shame on you, mad internet shame and hate. Mm. Stop that, China. No. No. It's funny though. The, like China has the like the strict like the weirdest restrictions in the world. Like you know, like until recently they banned video games. So they banned fun, and they <laughs> they banned having fun, and now they want to know what you're doing all the time, because the glorious Chinese Empire must live on. It must strive. That's why. That's why they banned um Tank Man. Every time when that comes around, the picture of tank, like the dude in front of the tank. Yeah. They people try to put that picture up on the internet and then mm. and like put it on like websites and they try to take it down century all the time. If you guys don't know who Tank Man is, then yeah, you should definitely you know should, that. You shouldn't be watching the news. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Read a book. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, AOL has shut down Joystick. Mm. So you guys have probably definitely seen joystick if you know Gok- or not, yeah, Gawker or if you know Polygon you know yeah if you know any of those those guys then pretty much without joystick 
a lot of like I think Joystick was one of the first gaming um well in the when they first started like independent gaming uh blogs and then it pretty much took a mind of its own. It's not it wasn't Gawker, it was uh what was the other channel? Mm-hmm. I have to think. It was it was Gawker, Polygon and something. Hmm. I'll probably remember later. But uh I know it's yeah, but yeah, um they finally shut down and it may not be the to total end of, for them because I believe um, s a few of them have um, went to um, Engadget, and they may be starting. Engadget may be starting a new um, was it a new joystick esque um, blog, really? a website. Right now they just uh, they just started. They did put like an article up. I'll probably find that up and link it. But yeah. So it's not the end, but a lot of people lost their job. So even though two people probably have their job right now, it's like, yeah. Oh yeah. So um, we talked a couple of times about net neutrality on this on website, website. On this <laughs> website. Website. Yeah. Show. The hopefully, show. Hopefully we have channel. Yes. Thing. Yeah. One day. One day. On this video and this inter program web. Inter program web. So um. Wheeler has from the FCC has actually pl laid out plans to talk to um, make sure that the internet will be labeled as a title tool utility, just like how um, phone lines are and um, like radio and what else is phone lines radio like cable basic cable TV those type of stuff mm -hmm. and um, they're trying to do that for the for the internet and if this happens pretty much we'll we'll have they'll have less pretty much um they'll have less control well they have more we'll have more control over what providers that we can choose from and pretty much what providers what providers can, can and cannot do so they can't have fast lanes they can't they can't like make sure we can't they can't throttle a certain website because it's caught like too much bandwidth, so pretty much it's a hundred percent for like to protect the consumer and prevent these companies from just doing whatever they want, which they've been doing for years, and just making us pay for everything and stopping the innovation of the internet. So they hate they, they even though they provide internet to us, a lot of them hate the internet because now everyone wants they just everyone wants just the internet. They, call, they we they paying for just the internet is not let's say it's not profitable for them because they want you to have a triple play plan they want you to have the internet the phone and your your cable because with the phone they get a subsidized they get tech sub subsidies so they don't have to pay for that they don't have to make money to pay for that so yeah and they'll just keep building money and if, but if you just have an internet a subscription then that's all you have you're not really paying as much that's why when you want to just cut that off they'll give you the run around like comcast <sighs> comcast yeah so yeah comcast yeah they're, um, comcast. Yeah, they're piece of shit did you hear there was one actually one other story about someone trying to get rid of their comcast cable subscription but they were still paying for the internet and pretty much they send you to those um send you to like these things that these guys that make sure try to stop you from doing that and give you all these free shit break your thumbs yeah and once you keep if you keep saying no 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 they like it's bad it reportedly bad on them and they're like oh they get get in trouble or whatever so the guy pretty much changed the name their name from whatever their name was to asshole brown because their last name is Brown. So on the script the, the the statement when they got the statement <laughs> it said ass it said asshole brown. And pretty much what they did was, once they found that out, um, Comcast apologized. It also refunded them for th up to I think three years of cable, mm. cable um the cable subscription. So for yeah, three years they gave them like that. How much money they paid for three years? They gave them that all that money back. <laughs> Comcast, what do you think you're doing with your time for? Yeah, fucking Comcast. 
That's but dude, now they're gonna be over. They're, now they're merging with um, Time Warner. So even though Time Warner is shitty, it's gonna be even shittier. Yeah. Cool yeah. fiber. Yeah. So uh, if you guys have played uh, Dragon's Dogma, it's coming out for the PS4, PS3, and PC. It's gonna be a free-to-play game. Free-to-play. But it's a lot of reports saying that it may only come out. It's coming out in 2015, but it may only be for the for Japan. Mm. And they don't. I don't think they have any um any uh, plans to bring it no. to America. There's no release date yet in America for your Dragon's Dogma. Because I don't, I don't understand that. Because it actually sold more in the United States. It sold yeah. about three hundred, uh, I think, three hundred thousand or something like that. So units in you know, units in Japan, and I think America was like at least maybe five or something like that. Like five thousand, five hundred thousand, something like that. Yeah. So, it makes no sense. But Jap- Japan does that a lot with a lot of their games, which makes no sense. Like they really are afraid that they, if they spend any money in that sector, like oh shit, we might lose money. Instead of saying, wait, we have more um, bigger following there, or at least throw. At least, oh, you know what? They could at least, especially for most games now, you can download it. So at least translate it, and you don't have to, and just put a little bit in the stores, like only a few copies in the stores, and just have it for for DLC, or just put a DLC only, and you'll see. Yeah, but nope. <sighs> All right. Oh, a little cool news here. Legos is finally making a Doctor Who theme set for. Uh, yeah, they yeah. made as well. They made it like Star Wars. They made a Pirates of the Caribbean, Batman. Batman. Always Superman, been. all those. It makes sense. About time to have and it, yeah, it's been a you know how long Doctor Who's been out? Yeah, especially for like some of the Lego, you know. Yeah, been. Lego's been around probably around the same time. Not how old how old is it? Really, really just got mainstream a couple of years ago. True, but they could at least did like a like a a, a little run in in the UK. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah, cause, it's a famous cause in the UK, but it's been Lego famous. Ain't, Legos aren't famous in the UK. Then no, who they is famous? They say they are. are. They're not as famous uh, as they are in America. They who are? Many people in there. No, I'm talking about Legos. James, in general. Yeah, no, it's Lego James company. May from, um, from Top Gear. He actually made a whole Lego house. Yeah, and Top Gear is the UK. Okay, so, you know, yeah. people people have that. Well, yeah, that everyone thing. has Legos. I'm saying Legos are an American. That's the thing. Like, product. No, no, American Dr. product. Dr. But I'm saying that they there. definitely was for kids. They yeah. definitely sell pretty well in well, yeah, the UK. Well, yeah, they sell too. everywhere well, but... But I'm saying that to the, America, the UK market is still pretty a big market as well. They still would, an American company would not make something just for the UK. They would make it for the America and UK. And yeah. if it's not going to sell well in America, then they wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable without doing it in UK. See, that's... This is know, how it's business it's works. Same thing as, um, same thing as Dragon, Dragon's Dogma, like, it's, it's just... But that's a it's different story. That's like no, the, this, a, this is proven. A, no, yeah. there's actual the actual bigger fan base. They, they could be, a, well, it's definitely a bigger. It's fan It's easier yeah. to say there's a bigger fan base here than in the UK for even Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. There are a lot, probably a lot more vigorous fans, but or the fans in UK are probably a lot more vigorous. But here in the United States, I can say that you can say that there's a much bigger, bigger community. Yeah, true. there. That, you know, they're the reason why Doctor Who came over here. So like having a Lego Doctor Who set. Yeah, that would that would be snatched up. Okay, true. Easily. That and now it is, yeah. yeah. But it also the other sets that I was making uh, is the Jurassic Park and Lord of the Rings. Wait, 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 wait! They didn't make Jurassic Park yet. No, I guess they're making remaking one okay. because of the movie. I'm, I'm no, they definitely I'm made a Jurassic right. Park. Yeah, they, they had to. And then what was the other one? There was a big ass Jura- um, Jurassic Park um cra- no in the, the and it's the a, Toys R Us in the Toys R Us of Forty Second Street. I don't know if they still have it, but it's like a big no, no, ass. Was it Toys R Us or was it FAO? No, it was Toys R Us. It was definitely Toys R Us. And yeah. then, like, the toys right yeah. the and it's like con- yeah. too. huh? No, they also had one FAO Schwartz. I think so. No, but it was a big, huge one, like almost life size, like towering. It was definitely in Toys R Us and all that. Toys R Us, like right, right yeah. near the um. On Forty Second Street. No, no, yeah, right, right. Yeah, so no, like this first. All like all the way in the top floor or something like that. Yeah, it was at the top floor. Yeah, that's why. What was the other one they were making? Jurassic Park and Lord of the Rings. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we're just gonna let you watch. We're gonna put this up somewhere. You just gonna put the link up. We'll the you link guys, up. you guys gotta watch. Here's a taste. Here, here, here's a taste. So someone's they recreated the Pokemon um, theme song yeah, and an opening. Twenty animators. Twenty animators and 
it's, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> they did it all in different styles and just, it's so fucking hilarious. It's, some is creepy, some it's funny as fuck, and some is just, what the fuck did I just see? Yeah. Alright guys, we're talking about hats. So, if you are yeah. watch our sh uh, sh like you watch us, you know, most of we we play a lot of PC games. So, Steam. Steam, since they made the creator program that you can like make your own skins, hats, items for the workshop, and like of course in certain games that you could do it right. It's made about the creators all together has made about forty of uh, fifty uh, fifty seven million dollars. Of their creations, like hats, trinkets, they're going for like dollars, five dollars, whatever it is, and they got about that's I don't even, I don't even know how long ago they started this program, what? but the 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 creators program for like making hats and all that. Well, yeah, in the um, the it's been a while because whenever. When did they start making you be able to do hats and stuff for uh, Team it, Fortress 2? Things were on those ages. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. They yeah Steam Workshop. And Dota and Quota. Paying crazy amounts of money yeah. for people to use that it. Steam Workshop. Oh, they do? Exactly. There was a, uh, what is it? There's a, uh, there was an economy, actually. They, they, they made a st uh, statistic about the economy of, what, 2012, 2013 mm -hmm. for the hats. And yeah. just, you know, no one's really paying money, but the amount of content that was just circulating around. Yeah. Was about like five, fifty million. What, you know, one of those. Like, uh, I know it was like oh, five or fifty million, and it wasn't even user-generated hats. It was oh. just the hats that were made by Steam themselves. Oh, you know, shit. DLC, whatever it was, <coughs> people were just trading them around. You know, they, that was the demand. The demand. Was and then the that's why they made to made the hat be able to make hats. Yeah, Steam. Yeah, oh, the workshop okay. was because of that. You know, it was like a fifty million dollar demand <laughs> to have. These hats were 15, something like that. Yeah. They made this and now it's the rocket. Of the and was it the take? I think it says they take about, I think either 5 or 10% of the profits for the hats being sold. So they made about, um, about what, 5 point, if it's 10%, like 5.7 million. About? Maybe, maybe it's not, maybe that, maybe that, that. 10% yeah. of 57 million. Yeah. 10% of 57 million. million. That's People have gotten rich like off 52, of just making mods. Roughly fifty-two million to one million dollars. No, ten percent. Of you fifty end, million. You, you end off at about fifty-two. Oh no, I mean going to Steam. Fifty-two taken away. They probably take away five million. Yeah. No. Five, yeah, five five million seven. Yeah. yeah. Like that, uh, but everyone else is left off for that fifty-two million. Yeah, they they get they get that money. But I'm saying like Steam, they made That's money off of hats that they didn't even create. But it's still it's crazy. <coughs> Yeah, because yeah, they're freaking that Valve's genius. Our genius yeah. isn't and that's, and and that's a, and dedicated to And that's why I, it was a, a lot of people... That's why I, I, like, what I heard it was one point that made sense that that if this if this is a trend that they're going to keep expanding on, of course they are, that they're making more money off of stupid little like DLC... Well, not stupid, but DLC little like hats and What's accessories. Yeah. Why would they want to make... Why would they want to make like Half-Life 3? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, they can make more money they off of this. They can just cap it off. Without, it, without having to do anything. Just yeah. make sure that the, the service is running correctly. And, like, well, no Do you think they haven't service. made Half-Life 3 yet? So, yeah, I mean, there was no real, uh, you know, of course, there's, 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 there's going to be a story to it, but, like, you know, there was no real, real... But fine, the bottom line to, is to Valve is going to do what they're going to do. They're yeah. going to continue to make money and be at the top of their game. Because yeah. they just really can't be beat. In form in the form of letting users get the content they want, they give people the control, the creative control to do what they want, and they trust them to do it, and it is paid. That's that's a, well. that's a point. That's a point that they let them do what they want, and they trust, and they tr the, they trust them, and we trust Steam and yeah. Valve. And that's why st pl things like you play Origin. They're not going to really work because no one trusts Ubisoft anymore. <laughs> no one trusts EA anymore. Ubisoft, the EA, the devils. Like, they, they don't trust them. Well, not anymore. They will. Ubisoft, they don't trust them anymore. But U EA ne never trusted them. So instead of them just saying, you know what, let's just put our platforms on Steam because we're making money off of it anyway. But they always want to make a, a U like, they're trying to make an ecosystem that's terrible. Even though Origin is terrible, oh, Uplay okay. is terrible. 
Sometimes, like, when, when I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even gonna start. But yeah. I haven't used Origin, but I've seen it. I almost signed up to Origin to get a free EA game, but mm-hmm. then decided no. <laughs> because it was EA. Yeah. Alright. But yeah. Alright, you get some horse action with uh with the the Witcher three, some gameplay, and it looks gorgeous gorgeous. I'm just sad that they pushed it back. They pushed it uh to May, even though it was supposed to come out it was supposed to come out uh actually February. Someday. I just can't wait. That's why I'm I'm actually starting to do the Witcher two and do a playthrough of that. Like a personal personal one. Um that takes too long to do a full playthrough of it. But it's it looks awesome. And this looks even even better, so I'm gonna finish that up. So once the wild hunt comes, it's gonna be amazing. I have not yet played any Witcher, so well, you'll figure, you'll see. I have played part of a short part of the first Witcher. This is pretty much the first okay. Witcher. You can skip it. The second Witcher is the definitive game. It's pr- it's pretty good. It's like the graphical wise gameplay they polished the T compared to the first game. I probably play the Witcher. Yeah. Some point. Yeah. Like and for some reason, Final Fantasy 15, there's a demo, and it says what the dog cam demo. So let's pause this real quick. I believe <laughs> you're able to. Yeah, this is why did they put this whole thing up here? Okay, play as a cat. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I mean, the internet is as big as it is right now, so you may as well have a cat team. Wait, yeah. I think you are, yeah, you're playing as a so, cat. You know, with the I think this is similar to kind of like a, what's that game, what's that game? Was that um detective game? What? With what? the ghost? Dead to, no. That you die, you got shot. New one. I thought it would be like Dead to Rice. Oh, Dead to Rice. Oh, Dead to Rice. Yeah, I remember Dead to Rice. You could use your animal. Remember that? Is you have to find out who who's your, who killed you? It was a new game. Uh, who? And you play as a ghost. Oh, forget it. I don't know. Yeah. There's lots of ghost games. Not that you're a detective and you play as a ghost? Oh, get out of here. Disappointment. There are games. Wait, you have the game? Yeah, I played it already. I beat it. Well, I mean, now that you can play as a a cat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now that you can play as a cat. I mean, who the hell is really gonna try to complete the game? <laughs> He's gonna like murder soul suspect. I'm so done. Murder soul suspect. Rather yeah. than just like live live a second life as a cat. Exactly. I'm done. Why? Yeah, what else? What else would can I play. or must I really? But that, those cat graphics, bro. Yeah, that's not even. That's that's am- that's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm done with the game already. Like, we're out of here. I mean, you got an orange castle. You can be, you be, shit. Final Fantasy 15 2 Garfield's Return. <laughs> wow. Uh, man. I think you said Garfield's Return. Exactly. The fuck. It's just Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 3 is just Return of the Mondays. <laughs> no, we hate them Mondays. Right. You can fight Mondays in, in Crisis Core graphics. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is that is that all? Is that the yeah, news? <laughs> all right, guys. Having kittens. That's all the news we got for you today. Yeah, today this week was a slow news week. Most of it was talking about net neutrality. So, and then Nintendo fiasco. God damn Nintendo! Yeah. Stop being money grubbers and fix your business, guys. Japanese Bruno, son. First, first Where time we come. What? Okay, no, okay, okay. What? No, go ahead and finish. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, do so. Say, say it, Johnny. Say it, man. I didn't even know I had say no it, ending man. to that. <laughs> you said you started a sentence. <laughs> and then you said things, and then we started jabbering. Johnny, Johnny, lo- Johnny is very, he's a short-term person. <laughs> forgot all my words. <laughs> all right, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Share us around. Brew, keep on, keep on brewing. Brew, brew, brew responsibly. Like this guy right here. I don't know if he's brewing responsibly. responsibly. He's a little bit tipsy. Keep on Doesn't remember. With the news, bruise. Keep, keep on, keep on, keep on. We're going to have a good closing and opening line for the brew news. 
stay tuned for that. Right, it's gonna yeah. be real new stuff.